It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1980, recorded Thursday, March 21st, 2024. Don't toy with us. On this episode of the Gizwiz, Dick D. has some gadgets from Toy Insider Spring Fling! I also have the perfect home office gadget if you are lonely about a little bit of water cooler talk. All next on the Giz It's the same show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Giz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LED. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. now! Now! And here he is, Dick D. Bartolo, with his interpretation of Chocolate Rain by Taze <laughs> Zonde, I think was the guy's name. This is an old YouTube reference. He had a very, oh, very, okay. he had a very deep voice. It was what well, he was known me. for. That's me. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know what is on. I, I feel fine, but it started last night on the Fizz, and it is continuing today, and... Um, I guess I'll go get some lozenges or something. <laughs> uh, someone said, do a nettle pot. Oh, a neti pot. A neti pot? A neti pot, yeah. A neti pot is uh, it's quite, it almost, I, I would almost say pot. an invasive procedure if you invasive. have a cold. <laughs> the idea <laughs> is you take a pot of hot, warmish water. It's not so yeah. hot it would scald you. It's warm water filled with salt solution typically. You stick it up to your nose your nose and you you move it in such a way that it goes in one nostril around your sinuses and out the other nostril you have to have a technique to keep your throat closed so you don't swallow the saline solution and the water goes through yeah no no, no. the expensive fancy version of that is not a neti pot but called a nivage nivage let me see if I can find this online. Is that advertised on TV? Yes, yes. Oh, I, you know, I looked at that. It's like 80 bucks or something, isn't it's it? It's expensive, yes. It it's is. like a machine you sh stick It's in almost like a appliance. <laughs> yeah. Even though it is handheld, you know, it's not It's not actually an appliance. But here it is, the Navarre. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's $110. 110 bucks. What, uh, and they also use the pricing method of, like, printers and ink because they come with these little saline pods, the Navage Salt Pod Pop? Salt Pop? I don't know. It's it looks pod, like it should be I a pod is, duh, yeah. at the end. Oh, it's all I capitalized. It's pod, I see yeah. salt pod. Yes. So you buy these pods that are specifically made with the correct ingredients, and then exactly what I described also happens to you is that the water will go in one nostril out the other. I'm not sure if they'll have a little demo here. Doesn't look like they, they have it. Um, but uh, it's quite... Um, a lot. There's where you put your noses, your nose, your nostrils. <laughs> right. Okay. I should say, that's removable think... and cleanable. And uh, I, I've heard incredible things, but you got to spend incredible bucks. things that are good. <laughs> yes, they say that it really cleans. You know, especially if you are uh, suffering from things like allergies, especially where you might have particles in your nose that if they are cleared away would be better. Um, right. I, it has been, uh, recommended by an actual doctor, not a, not a fake doctor. Wow. An actual doctor wow. said this yeah. is an option. You could do it. Rinse out your nose, make you feel a little bit better. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's the upgraded neti pot if, if you needed, needed one. It just sounds like your throat is, it sounds like you've been smoking cigars your whole life. <laughs> God, it's interesting. I have, I have smoked one, two puffs of a cigarette because it was some sort of a sketch on television and I was a security guard and they said, you should be standing in front of the cell smoking. I said, All right. how, do you, how do I hold a cigarette? And <laughs> Outside, I said, well, when the camera comes on, blow, blow some smoke out. That was my entire career for you smoking. Went. Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> yes. yes, and I'm still feeling it. And that was 40 <laughs> years ago. It's the that one that'll get you. you. It's the is. one that'll get you. Yeah, yeah. Don't do it, kids. I'm waiting for the deluxe version of that that also takes K cups, <laughs> so that you you can get caffeine directly into your system. That's what I need. That is what we need. I can't wait for the Starbucks <laughs> walk in. Everyone's navaging with their <laughs> their new uh, caffeine. It'll be the yes, new fad. I'm doing the pumpkin spice <laughs> pod. <laughs> Mmm, mocha, yum. Yeah. <laughs> Caramel macchiato. That's great. Um, okay, well, what do we got this week? You uh, went to oh, a- Okay, so le- it's very funny because um, I mentioned it last year. Toy Fair is normally in this time of the year. And last year, they sent out a notice that Toy Fair 2024, because they couldn't get the dates they wanted at the Javits Center, would now be in Chicago. <laughs> oh, they couldn't get anywhere else in New York. <laughs> it was well, Javits well, it's, it's or a very, Chicago. Uh, it's a very, it's a very big show. But it's anyway, crazy. I'm thinking this is crazy. I know a lot of people go there. I don't think they're going to go to Chicago. Anyway, about four days later, there was another letter saying, "Ah, uh, sorry, evidently, some people higher up made this decision without asking." <laughs> any of the toy manufacturers <laughs> or anybody and consequently it is not going to chicago we're just skipping 2024 Whoa. What, so what's happening is a lot of companies are getting together and having many events and toy insider had spring fling last week oh. and here's uh, we have some several gadgets and let's take it the first it's noisy here, but we're going to do it anyway. We're looking at fingerlings. This is one of them. Now, how do I make this feathers pop up? Squeeze the sides. Squeeze the sides. Oh. Ah! Okay, that was, that's very cute. And, and yours lit up. Yes, yours will too. Uh, how do I make Squeeze the sides? Squeeze the sides. Mm-hmm. Is it turned on? Oh, I don't know. Okay, let's Fingerling! See. Uh, there we go. Is. Oh, it's talking to me. Yes, it's a sweet tweet. These are the new fingerling sweet tweets that just came out last week by Wowie. And, and what do you do with them? Well, they're, first of all, they're the first they're perfect Easter basket stuffer, right? They're cute. They're only nine ninety nine each. And again, besides their feather manes kind of popping up, <laughs> I they, love that. They, they sing cute little songs. They make little birdie sounds. If you hit them three times, they fart. One, two, what? three. <laughs> probably, probably couldn't hear yeah. that. Well, that's okay. Was, you don't want to hear that anyway. Yeah, right. I, I think. It, <laughs> and uh, they can clip onto your finger. I see that. Yeah. Okay. Like you have there too. And they also talk back to you, so they'll repeat anything you say. I'm here wow. with these ways. That, that, just $10? Just $10. And this one's called Lionel. This one is Debbie. And how many are there? There are just the two. The two. Yeah. Okay. And you can also record a secret message up to eight seconds and then give it to your friend and they can play it back. Wow. Now, this is uh, unofficial, but I do believe that the CIA is using me. Not 100% sure. <laughs> oh, I think they're great. Lionel says, yes. <laughs> wow. And they're battery operated? Yes. Little cell battery? Three little button cell batteries. Little, little button cell batteries. Mm-hmm. And available now. Available now on Amazon. Amazon. On Amazon. I think it is so yeah. huge. <laughs> the sweet the sh- tweets. Yeah. So they are for 10 bucks and they recognize you from the pulse and your finger so when wow. you put it on your finger it will greet you when it recognizes you yes last year they had someone in chat i think it was scooter x said they had monkeys last year they did and now these are the newest of the sweet treat tweets that i think it's so- I think amazingly clever for 10 bucks. I can't believe that they have a way to detect who is using them. That seems like so insane. That's what it says. It says, wowie, 
I like how there's different uh, colors too. I feel like it allows the kids there's, to there's have just two of them. There's yeah. just Debbie and I forget the other guy's name. Uh, the, a, a girl and a boy. Yeah, that's so cute. But Sweet. They're twist. very very clever. I like it. I like yeah. it. Inexpensive, fun toy. That's cute. That's a cutie. Um, okay, some stuff from Toy Monster. Ooh, Toy Monster. Oh, my goodness, Toy Monster. Okay, I have a friend who works here. Uh, Rachel, who is a fashion model, now got into PR. And, uh, oh! And, uh, she's, Holy uh, moly. She's doing uh, PR for Fred. That didn't go well. <laughs> You know, it didn't tell us what you got, so yeah. one with lyrics, but what happens? I want to give you lyrics, and you want lemonade, you know? So whatever TCS yes, what they look good. So Rachel, what do we have here from Toy Yes, Monster? I would love to show you this amazing line that we have. So we have a line called Bugglers. And what's beauty about this is there's a combination of the word uh, funny and ugly together to make the word bug oh, fuggler. Fuggler, okay. so it's okay. together. Um, and it's fantastic. These are the lab misfits. So I am the crazy lab scientist that went awry in the in the laboratory and made these amazing, hysterical lab misfit bugglers. But what we also have is a great collaboration with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, turtle, yeah. So okay. everybody knows. Oh, what, what is the price of uh, fuggers? Seven ninety-seven for wow. either one. Yeah, so it's under eight dollars, all at Walmart. It's fantastic, and everybody knows the turtles love their pizza. So they're they serve they come served in a pizza box, which is amazing. <laughs> so it's really really fun. Kids of all ages, especially those collectors, the kid adults, the, the, the college kids, are really going bananas for all of these turtles. And the age? So these are also from Toy Monster, and this is called the Dino Smash and Squish. So what you want to do is you want to smash open the egg, and then these amazing little squishy dinosaurs come back together. But what you could do is then when you're done, you could put it back in, save your egg for later. And how do you break it? Just by... You can just... You know, go really hard, and oops, I put it together too close. And you just crack it open. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Okay. And so it's really great. And then this is my super fun collection. This is the color change. So what's great about these is you take them out. So I'll take them. I'll put him in the cold water, and you'll see that he turns black. I'll put him back in the hot water, and you'll see he turns blue. So it's really fun. Not only that, but then the slime. There's great slime that kids can love, and of course you can also. Whoa, change the color. This, this slime is also oh, I'm making a mess. The slime is also a color change from um, the heat water and so forth. So you put it in there, you put it back in the cold, and then it goes back to different colors. So it's color changing slime, color changing dinos. There's 24 different dinos that collect. Those are $5. The smash and the dino smash are $9.99. So you can get in a perfect array of items for under $10. Oh, this so is this is great price point, great value across the board. I like it a lot. It's all from Toy Monster. That is so funny. I have seen Toy Monster in like Walmart, and I've seen those yes. fugly toys with the teeth. <laughs> yes. Those leave an impression. You see them uh, and you think, yeah, I remember those toys. Who would ever yeah. want one? But there's the uh, and, and it seems this year that things are. Very low priced. Uh, yeah, those, holy moly. The Fugglers are eight bucks, like seven ninety seven. Uh, the uh, little Dino and the Egg is under ten bucks. Oh, that's. I think this is so so funny. You got little Leonardo <laughs> and his teeth are right there. His ugly little nose. That is so funny. I think and if you need <laughs> a spare tooth, you know you're not going to get a tooth from your dentist. You get six of them. <laughs> For seven ninety four. When your kids ask, "What does the tooth fairy do?" you can say, "Ah, oh, <laughs> a part time job at Toy Monster." Um, the I've seen them around, definitely. I see. The thing is, is, is this a gag gift <laughs> or is this a real gift? Are people really going to want the Fuggler? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, I my guess is, if adults don't like it, kids are definitely going to want it. I guess, true. Yeah, it's just and it sort little... of comes in a pizza box, it looks like. I think that is honestly amazing. I mean, to get that is the perfect branding for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> that is probably the best part of the whole toy. Um, that's just so funny.
Is any? Oh, that's you, very clever. How they uh, you see who's in the box by the check mark. That, yes. That's so clever. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. I love them, but I just don't know if kids will love them. I don't know if it's gonna, if it, is this something? Chat, I need to know the chat. Who wants oh, to buy the, one oh, of these? Either for Jay yourself one. or for a friend, for you know, a family member, yeah. a gift. I think the fingerlings was getting a, a lot of people saying, oh, this is cute. <laughs> Dan said, if you don't floss, <laughs> you could threaten your kids with it. There you go. You it is definitely a different vibe teeth. than the fingerlings, which were cute. And this is, yes. look what happens when you don't floss. Sim, so Rachel funny. said my nephew would probably like it. You know what happens when you don't floss, kids. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's right. That's $8 well spent. Just a fear factor alone. That was perfect. That's very funny. Yeah. Uh, those are great. I didn't even know the monster toy made it. I knew of the, fug, the fugly toy. But I had not seen anything else from them, so it's uh, yeah, kind of cool think to they see have, that they have a, a nice line. Br branch, branching out, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I like it. And then we have two more gadgets, and with a spokesperson who's not quite sure about certain things, which I'll try and clear up. Uh, here oh, we are. Oh boy, Sonic Chargers! What are they? Well, the man to the floor. So these are our flying planes. These are our sonic chargers, and they're super durable. I mean, you could do anything to them. Look at that. Um, it's really cool because they have different tabs on here. So the direction you want it to fly, um, you can push it up, you can push it down. Um, and they have three modes. So if you press this little button on the back here, you press it once, and that's going to fly for 15 seconds. Is there a little motor in here? Yeah. So oh, right here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Twice it goes for 30 seconds, and then three times it goes forever, but we don't recommend that because then you have to lose it. Um, it was yeah, going it's really go. cool. Um, so much fun in the summer with kids and everything like that. So. And what's that going to retail to? $19.99. Okay. And is it a battery or is it a Battery. So here's the part. So what you would do with the charger is it has three AAA batteries in here. You're going to stick the charger in here. Oh, the batteries stay in the... In oh, here, okay, yes. that's good. And then you're going to press the button on. So that red light means it's charging. Once it turns green, that means it's fully charged. And how much light time? So 30 seconds to charge, and it flies for a few hours. A few you hours? For, I think so. Oh, what? Okay. If it's what? windy. If yeah, yeah, if it's windy. Okay. And then you have something else. Correct. So... These are water guns. These are e-blasters. So these are really cool. My favorite thing about them is the refill. So basically, I have this little bucket over here. If you press this button, this button it automatically refills. You can see it coming through here. Oh, yeah. So nothing manual. I just did it a little bit just for the purpose of this. Um, you could do it manual if you want it. You can take this off and fill it up with a faucet or water bottle oh, or anything okay, like that. Okay. okay, hit those people behind you. It's continuous. <laughs> yes, it does. It goes 35 feet. Oh my god. Yeah. And, and about how long will it shoot with one shot? Oh, uh, it's the battery. So there's a battery here. You're going to need to plug it into a USB. USB. USB, okay. yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm not exactly sure how long it will last for okay. a battery. Okay. Any but idea how big the battery is? Like so it's uh, this size. This size. Okay. Yeah, so I actually have a <laughs> That's how big it is. About an inch. What the battery looks like. Oh my gosh. And that's where you charge it in the USB. Oh, okay. Oh, this is four batteries in this, right? Oh, yeah. This is just a, one of these. Oh, with one of these. Here. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay, okay. And that retails for? $19.99 at Target and Target.com. And then the bigger one is $29.99. And that's out now, too? I'm sorry? This is available now? Yep. Target and Target.com. Thank you. Thank you. We spray Dennis, but look at everybody wear. That, that is awesome. That, that was very funny. I said, how big is the battery? Oh, it's, oh, it's, yeah. it's about that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. You can kind of see okay. it back here in the back of it. It doesn't take up that much uh, So it uses uh, a 186.50 battery, and they range from uh, 
3,000 megahertz, uh, megahertz, <laughs> milli milliamps up to 35, and it should uh, shoot 25 feet. It's a 20 out capacity, and you can the, the airplane. It's 30 flights. Oh, on one 30 charge. flights 30 on one flights. charge, not 30 seconds. Said, no, 30, yeah, well, the charge is 30 <laughs> seconds, and then she said it flew for two hours. I was going to say, <laughs> that is one wow. efficient motor. That is impressive. I was thinking right. the same thing. Yeah. I was going, it must so be maybe, maybe 30 minutes of charge for a few hours of, like, yeah, playtime. I don't know how they were figuring it's that. It's 30 but. flights, depending on the flight time, and as she said, you can hit 15 seconds, 30 seconds, or just put it on go and let it run the battery out. But I don't know how far that would be. Yeah. Um, but I like that little auto filling thing. I do too. With, with the water gun. Definitely. That's definitely a bummer when you're uh, doing your super soaker and you got to, ah, let me refill. Yeah. And that is called auto refill technology. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. That was a perfect layup. Auto refill technology. Yeah. Love it. Auto, exactly. it's even there in the bullet points. Look at the highlights. Auto oh, there you go. Yeah. Yep. Refill. There you go. Technology. Oh, and burst and single shots. Yeah, I saw that. So I've seen some other uh, similar, like, uh, gadget, you know, uh, things. And they typically like to shoot in, sh like, they always, on the packaging, it looks like a sphere of water coming through. Yeah. So single shot water. That's pretty cool. You know, you could buy both of them and shoot the airplane down with the water gun. <laughs> it's like a, a little like skeet shooting. Okay, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, with that, it is time to head to a uh, great toy. toy uh, it's not toy fair. But a very good toy show. Do you fun. have more yeah, yeah. for us? I have, I have one left over that I'll one do next over. week. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah, no, that looked like a lot of fun. With that, let's move on to Chad's no, you don't crappy it, but you might corner. Chad's crappy corner. Get it. Okie dokie. I'm going to be setting some stuff up behind the scenes over here. Ooh. But I recorded a video earlier, so let's check it out. Okay, wow. so here we are, I'm back with it with another home office gadget. And when I think of the office, what do I think of? Of course, the water cooler that everyone hangs around and gossips about the whole office. But if you're at a home office, you got to think a bit differently with your water cooler and your home gossip. So here is the gadget for today. This is the Smart Desktop Water Bottle Dispenser. This is your very own water cooler in your <laughs> house. So let's go ahead and open it up. It's pretty simple. Um, it doesn't require any extra plumbing to be installed or anything like that. It is its own full gadget. Here is a uh, quick start guide. But inside, you get a base, you get a charging cable with a USB-C port. Yeah. You also get the spigot, which connects to the base. And you can see it's pretty simple there. You just get a little spigot there. Looks like that connects there. And you also get this big old long tube. And the idea is that after you plug this in, and uh, get it all hooked up. This tube can go into any type of water reservoir you want and you can pump your very own water. So we're gonna get it all set up, make sure it's all plugged in, make sure it's all working, and then we will be right back. Okay, so we have it all kind of put together now and all the tape and stuff removed. So as you can see over here, this is the power port, just USB-C. You have a little water button and you have a light button on the front, you have a power button and a play pause button, and then there's a display, and right now the display is showing, I get it's a blinking uh, battery icon is the current thing that it's showing right now. So, the hope is that we can take this tube right here that just comes out of the back of the gadget, and we can put this into a water source. Now this could be, of course, filtered water, it could be you have a jug, it might even be a, a pitcher of Kool-Aid, whatever you want. Um, and hopefully we will be able to, to turn this on and dispense the water. Now, right now there's air 
throughout the whole tube. So I want to make sure to really kind of get the air to go through the tube to give a, a good uh, sort of representation of it. So I'm going to follow the instructions here and they say press and hold for two seconds to turn it on. So one, two. Okay. Oh. Now we have a light. That's fantastic. Okay. The light key, short press to switch it. Okay. So that turns that on and off. Then the water level, short press to select uh, the required water amount. So it looks like we are selecting a certain water amount. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then it goes to nine, nine, nine. And then it goes to dot, 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 which represents unlimited water. This is what uh, the dot, dot, dot means. So let's try one. I'm gonna hit the button one time. There it oh goes. It actually sucked the water all the way through. So the first time it had to kind of suck all the water through. So let's try it one more time and hit play. And there you go. Honestly, it's kind of reminding me of almost like one ounce is what it's reminding me. So I'm going to guess that I have like about four more ounces to fill up. So I'm going to change the display here to four. I'm going to turn off that light just because it's kind of annoying. And then I'm going to hit the button once. If I had to guess, that would be about four ounces. Now, that is a complete... No, obviously, uh, it may overflow uh, uh, here. Uh, 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 I'm going uh, to uh, hit the button uh, just to stop it. So, actually, I don't know exactly how long it would have filled. But as you can see, you can change it. So, it's, it kind of seems a bit arbitrary at the moment what these numbers mean. But, obviously, I'd be able to test it and uh, figure out how much it would take to fill this one glass. So, you know, if I had a specific glass I was using over and over again, I could kind of find the spot. Not exactly perfect, uh, in my opinion. Also, this nightlight is a little funny. That is so bright when it's on. I think I would keep that off for sure. And then I'd have to find a good water setting to, uh, to set my water to. But if you're someone who needs a water cooler, you uh, want a filtered water under your desk with a tube running to it and just a plain old USB uh, power, so very simple. It does not come with a power brick. I'm currently using my own battery uh, to power it, but so you'll need to supply your own power brick, but it's just USB-C, so uh, pretty simple. All in all, honestly, I'm a little bit impressed. One a little cor uh, correction also is that I thought this had to be plugged in it, there's a little bat. There's a 2,000 milliamp hour battery in there. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a battery indicator. Yeah. Um. So we'll put this back to the 400 that we had it on, and I was looking at it from behind. So I, the chat room, I kind of agree with them that it may be milliliters. So maybe 400 milliliters. Oh, um, okay. Make a little bit more sense. So it's on 400 again. This is an empty glass, and you can now see uh, just about how much it fills up. And what's kind of cool is this one. This time I'm filling it up. No wires attached, right? Because I uh, unplugged the battery uh, part of it. That'd be fun at a picnic. Isn't that cool? People are asking, does it work with uh, spirits? Does it work with this? Does it work with that? Really, I think anything as long... I think carbonation may mess with it. But anything that is a flat liquid... This is 400. This is at 400. Seems about like 400 milliliters. That's a big old glass. Yeah, that's good. I'd say around eight or nine ounces of water would be my guess. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of weirdly like, this is neat. I could see having a, a gallon jug, a five, even a five gallon, you know, what you go buy a five gallon thing of water, stick this uh, nearby. Um, it, I have seen it auto turn off, so this is great for a boat. A great for or, a boat. Yeah, yeah. I I think that uh, I think it's kind of cool. I like it. So the smart table water dispenser is uh, what it is, and it's not too expensive either. Of course, uh, it's twenty bucks. Um, but if you're a Prime member, you can get them for only ten. Look at that. Um, so join it, and you, it's only ten bucks. So, uh, I think that this is a very nice little $10 um, gadget. I think it's uh, I think it's perfect. So, I don't know. No, I think it's great. I like it, too. <laughs> uh, let's see. What does the chat room think? Um, it does not chill any water. So, technically, I guess it is not. I, I was misspeaking when I said it's a water cooler. It's really just a water dispenser. But... I think you got my j joke. Was it was water? Yeah, no, I think that. No, I think it's it's fun for a kids' party. 
you can play with it and yes. pour your own drink. I think it's very cute. Yes, I like it. I like it. Okie dokie. Well, that wraps it up for Chad's Crappy Corner. Thank you to all the patrons uh, for voting on that. Um, and let's head on over to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse. Oh, okay, we did this during CES, and I thought it'd be fun to do it here. I went back through my files, and I found a video that we did at Toy Fair 2020. And these guys had this great kit. We'll show the video. And I have not gone to their website to see. It was a product introduction if this product ever got into the marketplace. <laughs> Did it <Okay>. get introduced? <laughs> it, it, yes. It's, it's pretty, in I, think it's, I think it's pretty neat. So here's the video from exactly four years ago this week. Okay, Toy Fair 2020 looking for geeky things. We found Geek Club. You don't have to join the club, but they have some really neat gadgets. They were on Kickstarter. They raised $137,370. Wow. And the kit is amazing. We're going to have our camera guy show you the box. So with that box, you can build... Uh, you can build seven different types of robots. So like, for example, uh, this, this kit, like, for example, this kit, this kit, you can build these tiny robots with it. So you have like a different type of robot. So this one is a smart guy. So it's a bit the same type as this one. So this one is like a light chaser. So you see, it will uh, it will uh, follow the light, you know. So this is like a, a tiny smart robot. Okay. That is very clever. Yeah. Uh, uh, second person taking over. Yeah. And let me tell you about the kit. So it comes with a 10 PCB boards with a USB soldering stick and with a USB drill. So you have and with lots of components. So you have everything to build the seven robots. E even safety glasses. Yeah, even safety glasses. You know we care about it very much. So and also you will get the educational video and printed instructions so that everything will go very easy. And what does the kit retail for? It's it's for in retail for only one hundred and nine dollars. One hundred and nine U.S. dollars. Yeah, exactly. I think that's very clever. And there's an educational video in there to yes. tell people how to do things. Yeah, right. Okay. And uh, batteries, you supply them your own or batteries in the kit? No, because it will be difficult with the shipping, so you'll have to buy separate, but they're very, very common batteries. Are they the 2032s? Yes. Yeah, exactly. We use so many 2032s, we buy them by the gross. And, and also, <laughs> the tools, the, also the tools go with USB plugs, so you can plug it on your computer or on a battery pack, so meaning you can do it everywhere you want. So. And finally, are they available now? They, they are available right now on Indiegogo for pre-orders, but they will be in retail in two months, in April, mid-April. Okay, and you, uh, are you geekclub.com? Yeah, we are geekclub.com. What a professional. Yeah. Bye. Okie dokie. Okay, now mm. people are saying, I went to Geek Club, still around, but it's geek. I said to you, how did you ever get geek? And then I realized it's three G's in there. It's oh. G-E-E. E-K. All right, so chat room, a lot of people think... You know what? I think they changed their name. Oh, did they? I think they did. They realized nobody was finding them. Because if I... Here, let's... Uh, new tab. Let's, let's see. G-E-E-E-K club.com. And this is weird. It live on Indiegogo, featured in Hacker and Gizmodo. But if you go to geekclub.com with just two E's, that looks very familiar. It does. It seems like they have a dead website with the three E's. They changed their name to two E's wow. and kept going. <laughs> Boy, the fact that they could get geek works. Geekclub.com just straight up is impressive. Wow. But it looks wow. like they've come out with a whole bunch of things. They have a space line, nanobots, cyberpunk, five skills. The quick one of the buy now is just to make sure. 
<laughs> yeah, they... here, let's try the nanobots since we saw that. Uh, okay, all yeah. right. Looks like it's possible. It looks like. Look, they're still doing the same thing with all the crazy soldering and tools. Yeah, no, this, this is definitely, oh, you know what? <clears throat> the boxes have the three E's. Oh my gosh, you're right. Just go, just go. <laughs> oh, isn't that fascinating? That is so funny. You know what? Geek uh, tools. Yeah, it looks like they did a rebrand, and not everything yes, is quite yes. rebranded. But they should definitely forward the 3egeekclub.com to the new website. That's definitely. Absolutely. How stupid. How stupid. <laughs> That's a misstep. That's what we call mismanagement, folks. They should definitely be doing that. Um, oh, Becky said there are no dates on the reviews. Uh, it looks like Eric Duckman, Eric Duck's making a joke. 100,000 of the $135,000 that they've got on Kickstarter went to buying the domain name. <laughs> <laughs> that could be. That could be. But wow. they are still around. Congrats That's to them. Great. It's still like, That's... It looks like they've expanded their uh, gadgets. I love this uh, five skills. I love the branding on it, at least. It looks so kitty and fun. Oh, this looks good. DIY electronic 3D puzzle. That looks so cool. Yeah. I think it is is that their original ones, the boxes may have been printed already. Yeah. And now the newer ones <laughs> is going down to the two E's. Yes. Yes. Much smarter on their part. Well, congrats. It does still exist. Wow. That's great. It's great fun. It was it great, great fun. fun finding that. Okie dokie. Well, with that, let's move on to the letter. And our letter is, I believe he's in chat, is from Steve D, who said, I'm sure you have watched the Amazon deals people on Instagram. Actually, I haven't. Um, they talk about discounts. I got the label printer from one of them. It arrived an hour ago. I haven't opened it yet, but I'll try to make a warehouse foghorn video. The woman today mentioned free products. Yes, they are free, but look at the shipping costs. And he sent a picture. Okay, so uh, it looks like we're getting a $0 <laughs> dash cam. But a twenty dollar and ninety nine cent standard shipping fee, or a eighty dollar. And, and look at the order summary, Chad. Yeah. The item is five twenty nine. Yeah, that's crazy. Promotion, Me. promotion, promotion, and somehow it still is fifty eight bucks. It's fifty eight bucks. Yeah. So their free robot cost them $31 in shipping, and their free dash cam cost them at least $21 in shipping. Hmm. And some, how did they get the $58? Oh, oh. You know what? That is a good question. Is tax? <laughs> I guess you get taxed on, you get taxed on shipping. I didn't know that. It looks like it. Where's this $5 of tax coming from? Not sure how that uh, works God, out or where they're located, but uh, it looks like they're getting five bucks of tax plus the added, added shipping. Ugh. That makes it's you second weird. guess your free gadgets. <laughs> A little bit <laughs> yes. of sticker shock with my check, free gadgets. Yes. Check very, very carefully. What happened uh, to, you know, free two day shipping, Amazon? Hmm. Yeah, exactly. And Steve D. Ed, thanks, uh, Chicken Chad, for everything you guys do. Wow. Thank wow. you. Oh, of course, Steve D. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so nice. Um, so I haven't seen the Amazon sellers that are being... No, I haven't either on Instagram. Yeah, but, but I guess that they're showing these deals where you get it discounted to zero dollars because of all the promotions they have. That is so interesting. That is so oh, interesting. you know what? Your your last week's gadget, Simpson Rachel said, is part of. Oh, look at that! Oh, there we are. 
Very similar, extremely similar. Yes, but they don't mention that if you're a Prime member, it's only ten bucks. Yeah, it's just free free returns. Yeah, that that other one was ten bucks. Oh, so, so they have a different way to fill it up. You can just kind of see the display and oh, where I have yeah. a digital. Oh yeah, and readout. also they took the light out. I don't know why you need that light. Yeah, I can't. The only th possible thing I can think of is like. At night, I'm ready to get a glass of water, and I just need a night light to <laughs> every night. Oh, yeah, I don't maybe, know. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> it seems like a strange addition um, to have it be uh, a bright. I mean, that thing was bright. Anyway, that's cool. That's cool, Sims and Rachel. Thanks for yeah. letting me know that. No, and also I like that uh, your little device on the desk there can pull water out of something that's on the same level. A lot of times. Oh, true. You get you get a cheap pump and it says, make sure the fluid you are uh, pulling from is above the pump. And here, can, can it pull it from way oh, down let's there? Let's try this. Uh, I want to get it down to just one so I don't accidentally. Wow. Oh, ah, oh. <gasps> oh, it has sucked it, the tube. Oh, it ran out of fluid. No, the tube no. collapsed. Oh. Wait a second here. I think I need a stronger tube. What's happening is, from my perspective, I can easily see it's sucking so strong that this tube is just... Oh, oh, okay. And it's okay. on the floor here. It seems there's nothing's kinking it or anything. So, yeah, maybe it isn't strong enough to pull off of the floor. Yeah. Oh, no. They need to ship a stronger tube because it seems like it would work as the tube was just a bit more uh, yeah. sturdy. That is interesting. Interesting! Okay, well, I'm a little suspicious of how good this gadget is now. <laughs> um, thank you for that email, Steve D. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com. Slash Gizwiz, thank you guys so, so, so much for your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting our show. If you like the Gizwiz, please consider giving back at gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab at the top of our website, and there'll be a big old Patreon banner there to take you to our Patreon page where you can support, or there's a PayPal link on that page as well if you want to support via PayPal. Uh, head over to gizwiz.tv. TV, that's where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time, whenever we're live. The website will just update with the live stream and you can join the chat room and chat along with everybody there. If you don't catch the show live, our show will be recorded and put up on our website after the fact. Once again, that is gizwiz.tv. Head over to gizwiz.biz, that's Dickie D's website where he writes articles about every gadget that we talk about on the show. Remember those electronic hand warmers? I do, <laughs> that was last week. Go find out about it at gizwiz.biz. Also, while you're there, look at the what the heck is it game. This is an entire gadget that you gotta guess what it is. And uh, this was, a little known culinary fad for a little while, um, crystal eggs. Yes, the crystal healing movement even applied wow. to your wow. standard egg. And those are a pair of crystal <laughs> eggs. So if you think you know what those are, get a guess in gizwiz.biz. Six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guess in over at gizwiz.biz. Bez! With that, it, that wraps up our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>